Hello, my beautiful drone flying friends. Today, we're gonna to talk about why your drone photos are blurry and what you can do about it. So the first thing you should do is make sure that you are actually looking at the high definition image. I know that can sound a little bit silly, but sometimes when you save the uh, photo on your phone, it's actually the low definition photo that gets saved because that's what's being live streamed between your drone and your phone. Um, and so yeah, you need to make sure that you're going into the drone in the Mavic Air right at the back, it's in this little thing and you go in and you get the SD card or you extract the uh, photo from the SD card and you make sure you're actually looking at that image. That's the first thing. I know it seems a little bit silly, but that was one place where I was like, oh, why are these photos so different? That's why, because the high definition one is stored on your drone. Go and make sure you've got that one. Number two is making sure that you haven't accidentally touched your lens and you've put a massive greasy fingerprint on it. Now I use a lot of beard oil on my delicious long beard uh, and that can actually leave me with oil or balm on my fingers and because a lot of these uh, drones have a case like this you can actually sort of accidentally touch the lens. So just have a quick look to make sure that your lens hasn't got any fingerprints on it and if it does you can use a simple um, glasses cloth or a simple lens cloth uh, for other sort of like uh, camera lenses if you've got it and just give it a light light um, kind of rubbing to get rid of any of the grease um, that your fingers may have left on the lens. Yes. All right. That's number two. Number three is all about lens caps. So neutral density filters are like sunglasses for your camera. Um, and all of the DJI drones have them. Um, and you just screw off the, the front and then you screw on a neutral density filter. Now the issue is, is that you can actually get moisture trapped in between these multiple layers of lenses and glasses. And uh, it's not immediately obvious, right? Because when you sort of take a, a drone from inside, it's nice and warm. It's the temperature that your room or where you store it is at. When you take it outside, the glass gets cold and that causes the water inside, whatever's trapped inside, to get stuck and condensate on the cold glass. And so there could be a little bit of water trapped between the camera and the lens. Uh, there's a simple way to do this. First of all, take your drone and leave it in the sort of conditions that you'll be flying it in outside just for like half an hour. You know, put your bag outside. It doesn't have to take too much, but um, don't take it from a hot car, for example, and move it immediately outside. Um, another way to get rid of it is obviously remove the lens caps and also, you know, those dry, uh, dry drying little bags, the silica beads. Um, you should put that in with your drone if you are suffering with any moisture issues. Um, and you can, uh, a little top tip is that you can actually dry them out in the oven at about 60 or 70 degrees C, leave them in there for about an hour, they'll dry out, the moisture will come out and that will make them extra absorbent when you put them back in your bag. If they've been sat around for a long period of time, they may not do anything because all the water's got trapped inside. Um, so silica gel pads and packs work really well, but also just acclimatizing your drone will be the thing that really helps you. So give that a go if you're finding you're having a lot of moisture issues where in between the lens and the camera. Okay, so the fourth thing is actually just checking your shutter speed. Your shutter speed is how long your camera is taking photos and uh, taking the image and projecting it onto the sensor. Now, drones are incredible. I bloody love them, but in any sort of environment outside, they do rock around and gimbals are only so good. If you've just done all of the checks we've just talked about um, and you're still finding that your drone uh, footages uh, or drone photos are blurry, then go and have a look at the app. When you're connected to the drone, you need to have a look to see 
if your shutter speed is very high. If your shutter speed is very high, it means that the uh, camera is accepting images onto the sensor for a long period of time. And any slight adjustment, any movement, any time the gimbal can't quite compensate for the drone's movement, you're gonna end up with a bit of a blur. Um, and so yeah, get onto your camera app settings on the DJI drones. Um, it's the DJI Go 4 app. Um, and just see, have a look at your, your your shutter setting and make it as short as possible if you're not sure if that's the thing causing your drone photos to become blurry. Okay, so there's another thing in the software settings that I think you should check. It wouldn't necessarily relate to your, your drone being, uh, your drone photos being blurry, but just go in and check your exposure settings on the app. The exposure settings just tell you and allow you to set how bright or dark the image is. Um, and you can also set it to auto. Now, a word of warning is that if you set it to auto on your drone, uh, camera settings, it could mean that as you're flying, the drone will automatically compensate. So if you want nice cinematic footage, you have to choose a setting that isn't auto, um, because as you sort of pan, the, cap the brightness will change according to the amount of light coming into the camera. Um, but yeah, that's, a, that's another thing to check, is make sure that your exposure settings are set correctly. Uh, make sure that you're not too bright, not too uh, dark, and that you're somewhere in the middle. And if you are gonna use auto, just make sure that uh, you don't want massive, nice, long, smooth pans with equal exposure because your drone will adjust automatically. Number six is to make sure that your autofocus is turned on. When you're flying a drone, you can normally tap on the screen if you're using your smartphone as the controller or the uh, pilot's view, the live view. You can normally tap where you want the drone to focus. Quite often, the drone doesn't really need to change its focus very much because normally it's taken in big cinematic, uh, you know, landscape views. But if you're doing something a little closer, if you're doing a little, something a bit closer, like a selfie or a screen uh, a capture of a, uh, a group of friends, it could be that you just need to tap on the screen where you want it to focus. That will make sure that, that uh, the area you select is in focus. It tends not to vary too much with the drone, but it could be a thing that is causing your drone photos to be blurry. So make sure autofocus is turned on. And the last thing I would say is make sure that your drone is just in good working order. So if you've been through all of the things I've just talked about and you see that your drone's really not performing as well as you want it to and your drone photos are still blurry, then what I suggest you do is just do a general rundown on everything your drone has that you can calibrate just to make sure. So I like to check the propellers, make sure there's nothing crazy uh, going on with the propellers. I check the motors move, um, I calibrate the gimbal, the compass, um, the ICU, all of the different settings you have in your drone calibration uh, uh, options, go in and make sure that they're all calibrated really well, at least um, have been done recently. Because, you know, these are expensive and very complicated machines. And so any little change in calibration could just be throwing off your drone enough to cause a little bit of a blur. Um, those are all of the things that I think you should check uh, and if your drone photos are still blurry after this, then consider sending it back to the manufacturer, um, getting in contact with the uh, distributor as well, just to make sure that you don't have something that's, uh, that won't be, won't be able to be fixed by you. Okay, so those are all of the things that I think you should do if your drone photos are blurry. Let me know in the comments what you think, if there are any other tips that you have if your drone photos turn out to be a little bit blurry. Have you got a secret fix that you haven't told anyone before? Let me know in the comments. Also, this is um, based on an article. So go check out droneflyingpro.com to find this article and many more. And I'd love for you to subscribe to this channel because uh, it means a lot to me. This is a new channel and I love to share everything I've learned about flying drones, about taking drone photos, videography, maintenance tips, tricks, the lot of it. So please remember to subscribe. I will see you in the next video.